Welcome to Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen. I'm Chef Allie and I've been stirring up a love of farm fresh cooking all across my home state of Kansas for over a decade. I enjoy teaching you about food, cooking, and family farms. And from farm to fork, Kansas farmers are always working hard so we can enjoy delicious Kansas-raised food. Welcome back to Chef Alley's Farm Fresh Kitchen. We've got a little breakfast cooking up today. Yeah, yeah. At my house, I have five, four guys at my house that are always hungry, and we like mm -hmm. to have breakfast for supper. Maybe you guys we do, do too. We do that too, yep. Yeah, and I'm excited that you have our Farm Bureau apron on, the keep calm and farm on. But Chef Alley's mantra is stand strong and cook on. And I love how we always use food to connect in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And bacon at my house is something that's just like going, come here, come here, because yeah. they smell that bacon and they come into the kitchen. We're making whole grain pancake dippers is what these guys are called. Some of you out there I've already lost at the word whole grain or whole wheat <laughs> because typically what do we equate that with? You think it's healthy and bland. You think it's healthy but it's also typically those kind of pancakes are heavy and they lay in your stomach like lead. This however is going to be a really, you can see these are nice lightweight and fluffy yeah. whole grain pancakes because we're actually using whole grain pastry flour. I like it. Yeah, which is something that you can substitute for in any recipe unless it calls for yeast. If it calls for flour like in cookies or quick breads, anything like that, you can substitute whole wheat pastry flour across the board for that. So okay. it's going to really make them nice and light. So the first thing we have to start with for these guys is our bacon. And mm -hmm. this is super important because I love to do my bacon in the oven. Mm -hmm. Do you ever do yours in the oven? I heard <laughs> you've mentioned it before yeah. and I thought, oh, maybe that'll cut down on the mess. On the mess, <laughs> exactly. Because nobody wants to cook and have all the mess. So here's the deal though. Wrap your baking sheet with a nice heavy coat of um, aluminum foil because mm -hmm. it really makes cleanup easier. So then the bacon, we lay that out in strips and that goes into a cold oven. Has to be a cold oven. Okay. Have you ever seen bacon? See how our bacon's laying out here nice and flat? Uh -huh. Well, if you put it into a hot pan or into a hot it oven, it, I, I would too. That's what, you, that. that's what causes it to go like that. Oh. So we want to put our baking sheet into a cold oven. Then we're going to preheat it to 400 degrees and set our timer for 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, we'll check it, probably have to turn it over, maybe rotate it a little bit, and mm -hmm. then it might need three or four or five more minutes minutes depending on your oven. Okay. okay. So once our bacon is cooked, mm -hmm. we're going to put it on a paper towel lined plate just to drain away any fats. We have our, our cast iron griddle preheated. So we're going to take the cooked bacon and this is how we make the dippers. And my boys just love these. They think they're so fun. Your pancake batter is right there, my dear. Okay. And what you want to do is just kind of pour that around. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, you're going to do great. No, I'm yeah, nervous. and I can't even make a circle pancake. Yes, you can. Just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. You're doing great. Just elongated like that. See, you got it. And notice um, our pancake batter is at room temperature. And that's a tip that's good when you're making pancake batter. Let it sit for a little while. Uh -huh. It's going to be more cooperative when you put it. And it's also going to quick cook quicker um, when you put it on your cook surface. You can do this one, too, if you want so to. So is it right to go around the edge, or do I want to go nope. over the top? You can do both. But the reason that we put the bacon down first is because when we flip this guy over, then the bacon's going to be on the top. And oh. your guests are going to see that first, or your family, and that, that's what gets them really excited is all that crazy bacon. Yeah. Yeah. So we have bubbles going on here. Yes. Our griddle was nice and preheated because that's, when you poured that, you heard that little sizzle. Sizzle, not that, sizzle. That, uh, you are so good. You are so good. <laughs> but that also tells us that our pancakes are going to release themselves really easily. Oh, man. So I'll let you flip. flip. It's going to come right off there. That's a nice pre-seasoned cast scared. iron. You did great. Look at you. Oh, that's a pretty color too. <laughs> yeah. That's very important with pancakes. It is very important. It can't be too dark. My son Miles was home and he said, Mom, that one's kind of dark. <laughs> but look at you, you got it. See? <laughs> now the other cool thing is while you're doing this, you might as well just do a whole bunch at one time, yeah. right? Because then you can lay these guys on a baking sheet all individually, put that baking sheet in the freezer. Once these are frozen solid, uh -huh. okay, they have to be frozen solid, then you take them off the baking sheet, put them in a freezer bag, and that way you can pull out one or two at a time, pop them in the microwave, you got breakfast. Okay. Fast. Instant breakfast. Yeah. It's pretty quick. So these are the whole grain bacon pancake dippers. Maybe what I do you can think? show you now. Yeah, you can pick it up off there. Look how good she did. Awesome. Can you see it? Randy, <laughs> you got a camera? 
I know you do. She wants to show off her pancake dipper. Because there it is. My mom knows I would not eat pancakes <laughs> if they were any shade darker than this. When You're I, like my sister. Up, they had to be they light had to be or blonde. I eat them. Uh, yep. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Blonde yeah. is not oh, brunettes. That's my sister, we called her Pippi Pancake because <laughs> she loved Pippi Longstocking and her pancakes had to be perfect. So that is funny. I totally get it. So. Well, good. Well, we'll have this recipe online yeah. now. Can we get the batter? I'm going to have that recipe um, with all of these directions will be all included okay. on the blog, which is Chef Allie's Farm Fresh Kitchen .com, and I know it'll be on um, Mom's Every Day too. Absolutely, <laughs> we like to share. All right, Allie, thanks. You're this welcome. Is easy. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. We're the Kansas Farm Food Connection, Kansas farmers and ranchers who are proud to put wholesome and nutritious food on your table. It's our mission to connect farms to families and families to farms through education and firsthand experience. Together, we're raising Kansas.